Boxes some drone. Right, rip it off, chapter three, and boxes some drone. The next station is Plant Square. Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Look at that. Imposter syndrome. John's flat, 6.35 a.m. Uh... So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Mm. All right, Danny Ocean. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30 a.m. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. Mm. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Oh, sorry, Molly. Pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. <laughs> Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. I'm going to forget all this. Kill me. 7.55, put head in microwave. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. Okay, now he's messing around. 724, how about the park? Run! Okay, so, yeah. I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Wait, is Amy the other? I forgot. Uh... Okay. So, I just go up to her and say, Hey, up, Chuck. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. <laughs> We're out of cereal. Uh... What do you want? Cornflakes? Focus. Look, Amy's a big <laughs> theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So, got any holidays planned? What was the deal with that piss at the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Mm. Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So, are we going for this run or what? I always think of him as meat and potatoes. No, you know, that no fuss. Enough. Some people say that's a rare quality. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. Mm. Yeah, I guess that is pretty vain, isn't it? We well, you know role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat. You give me a stitch. Come on, let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. <clears throat> Massive geek. Not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. Alright, Jack. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You alright? What do you mean? I've never felt better. I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. 
Shaz is great. You're going to love her. <laughs> Hang on, what do you mean, story? Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, you may be surprised to learn. It turns out you and me are related. Oh, I forgot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he was my cousin. Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> oh jeez, I have to charge at 833. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious cousin. Alright, cuz. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Uh... Hiya, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think I think John must have told me that. So now your family secrets out. I'm dying to know more. Mm -hmm. What was it like growing up with John as your cousin? Mm. I don't want to get all soppy, but John, I don't know where I'd be without you. That's quite all right, John. I'm glad you've turned into such an athletic, creative, fiercely intelligent young man. So how long's Jack in town for? <laughs> oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Mm. <laughs> He's only joking. I'm actually not. Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Cash potato. Oh, you know. I'm staying at home, <laughs> playing computer games. He was in Cambodia. Wow. Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. Uh, not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high tech startup you see selling solar powered submarines to the super rich. Bring it in a bit, John. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow paced for you while you slum it with us. Don't it off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. Mm. It's awesome. Well, you don't look like an artist. Yeah, well, not anymore, I don't, do I? <laughs> but that's my job. I'm a video game developer. Ah, there you go. That's so cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, not, not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art. Really. Well, like games like this? <laughs> you know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. Mm, boy. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> There's one we have at work on a screensaver where you navigate through a maze. Did you do that one? No. Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> Should have been attacked there, but... Alright, I'm screwed. So where do you work? Super fab. It's not far from your office, actually. Mm. And people pay you to do this? Yeah. Some people say game makers are the new rock stars. Dad, yeah. can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? I'll walk you through it. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. Ooh. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Yeah, I figured eight. Good age? Why? Don't know. 
Okay. That's weird. Sneak past someone, yeah. Boom, I messed me up this time. It's like I did it right. You know, I just fell. What are you doing? Oh, shoot. Uh. Hello, stranger. What am I doing wrong? Got it? Uh. You look well rested. Mm. Yeah, slept the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Mm. Right, Derek. Yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. He's my boss? Yeah. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, um, it was fun. Turned into a bit of a piss-up with the lads, though, to be honest. Well, trekking in Nepal. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good with stuff like that. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> simple, trust me. Joan's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rubble support. And this is a computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. None of this actual game. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. I'm never yet. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. No, I already forgot. Are you rumbling? Uh, no, sorry, maybe that's not right. Okay, Letitia. <clears throat> you're doing something with AI. No, no, IA. For retirement homes. <sighs> yeah, sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Hmm. <clears throat> making cream cakes. Actually, I'm not sure that's right. And finally, Maya. Well, Are you doing the not. IA? <laughs> the, the AI? One of them. Sorry, I'm not sure that's quite right. Look, yeah, one of them, right? Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to, even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Tell me now. Give me that Derek loving. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo! Uh, good morning. We have a met. I'm John. Uh, 
speak English. Mm. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Come to my taste shop. I'm just looking to girl. Would you like to purchase one of my freshly baked cakes? Today's specials are salt mint and Himalayan lemon cheesecake, bubblegum shortbread served with whipped soured cat milk and bow hunted elk pie Victoria smudge sandwich. I was barely even to read that. <laughs> This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Whoopsie. Oh, yeah. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite bit, too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean nice. work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. <clears throat> Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. <sighs> I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Uh -oh. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Mm. Passion? I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Hey, he's fired. Oh, hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I had to get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. <laughs> this is a disaster. It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've sure got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Yeah, you both got each other fired. Oh, it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey! It's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah. I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. 